Well, as we move into Pro Stock Motorcycle, take a look at our Lucas Oil ladder. Hector Rana Jr.'s got a great bike going up against his dad, Scotty Polachek, Michael Ray, Andrew Hines, Jimmy Underdahl, and Eddie Krawick, and Steve Johnson. We kick it off with Michael Ray, who's now gone over a year without a race win. Last win on tour in Chicago 2013. Scotty Polachek still looking for that first race win. Big advantage, but didn't have the bike. No, bad luck strikes Scotty again. Michael Ray goes 7.28.4 for George Bryce and the star crew to move in to the semifinals. Well, coming up next will be Steve Johnson. We'll look at Steve Johnson's reaction. He was having problems in his round one matchup against Adam Arana. Didn't even look up to see that Adam had gone red until the bitter end. And, well, that's what ensued. It's not often we see a driver, or in this case, a rider, celebrating at the start line, but that's exactly what we saw with Steve Johnson. Steve, you didn't make it down the racetrack, though. What happened? If you're a fan of Mellow Yellow Drag Race, and you might remember Indy a few years ago, we thought that was weird. That was crazy weird. Uh, the bike, it, 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 I'm so lost up here. My guys, thank God, I, I have to pay them extra to come up here to, to deal with all my, my headaches. But the, the end of the result, it, it felt like the, the, the cranks and the engines are so temperamental. 14,000 RPM. These engines are 113 cubic inches versus the Harleys and the V-Twins, 160 cubic inches. So we rev the living heck out of these things, 14, over 14,000. So everything can break and you're nervous and it was vibrating a little on the starting line so i don't know if that was it and then when the lights turned i gassed it and there was nothing there so i don't know what happened we're going to start it and find out right, he's going to find out and if you take a look at his notebooks over here he has a big one on how to lose he has one on how to win as well he does face eddie Kraywick in the second round at least he has a <laughs> sense of humor that you could say the suzuki of jimmy underdog the screaming eagle harley davidson of andrew Hines. ah jimmy goes red <laughs> The second time Andrew's opponent has turned on the red line. He easily walks into the second round with a great pass, 7-24-6. Tim Wilkerson's crew in the middle of putting a brand new engine into the car as they have decided to uh, change before we get to the semifinals. Tim himself is, is over here working on the supercharger and uh, he said he'd take a moment just to chat with us so tim a lot of work for you and the guys tell us why you changed the engine and how's the car going to be set up for the semifinals well it's you know it's spinning the tires really bad down there in the middle of the racetrack and instead of taking a chance we're just going to put a motor in it we don't have time to look at it uh, that oil down in front of us cost us seven minutes and that's seven minutes we need so we're just going to change the motors and hopefully we have something for old robert he's multitasking here in his pit Steve Johnson has competed in every race here for the Pro Stock Motorcycles at Vandermeer. His 23rd up against Andrew Hines' Screaming Eagle teammate, Eddie Craywick. Three hundredths of a second Whoa. advantage for Steve. Will it be enough? Eddie's oh. charging, but he's run out of real estate. How about that? A whole shot win for Steve Johnson as his 725 beats the quicker but losing 724 of Eddie. Steve Johnson couldn't get up the start line the first round. Now he's going to the semis. Well, so the final pair here before we come to you live with the semifinals, Hector Arana Jr. and Hector Arana Sr. Father and son. This was a final round a couple of races ago, one on that day by Jr. But on this day, give it to Senior. Not a whole shot. Another one. This is 26. Beats the quicker but losing 724. H.A. the third. Not giving the kid any respect, is he? Nope. Hector Senior got the advantage off of the starting line. Says, kid, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to earn it. Hector Junior had the best motorcycle all weekend. Could not take advantage of that as his dad wins on a whole shot by about a wheel length. So on the top side of the ladder for Pro Stock Motorcycle heading to the semifinals, it will be Hector Arana with lane choice against Michael Ray. On the other side, how about that whole shot clown prince of Steve Johnson? Gives up lane choice to Andrew Hines. 